The first thing that we need to look at is the rectangle ABCD. And what is the line that we need? We need the line AC. Now we know that in a rectangle, this is 90 degrees. So to find AC, we will use the Pythagoras theorem. AC square is equals to AB square plus BC square. So give me the answer for AC. What is the answer for AC? The answer for AC you got is 12.8. Okay. Now, <clears throat> so here we put it down. Now we have to look at triangle PAC. That's the basic triangle that we are looking for. <clears throat> so let's make triangle PAC. This is our PAC. P, okay, A and C. Now the pole PA makes 90 degrees with the ground. We found AC as 12.8. The AP is given as 6 and we have to calculate this angle. So let this angle be X. So this is basically what? Tan X is equals to 6 upon 12.8. Okay. And then what will happen out there? What, what is going to happen? x will be equals to tan inverse 6 upon 12.8 okay calculate this value and let's see what is the answer 25.1 so the answer for x has come as 25.1 degrees okay so now you can see that you know you have to understand it in three dimensions the rectangular field and then the flagpole is present okay and then how do you make the angles and then draw the question so now let's go to another question Where is it? Yeah. okay the diagram shows a pyramid full stop the base is a horizontal rectangle a b c d comma 20 centimeters by 15 centimeters the length of each sloping edge is 24 centimeters full stop the apex comma v is over the center of the rectangular base full stop calculate the length of the diagonal AC, comma, the size of the angle VAC, comma, the height of the pyramid. Okay, so let's make the changes that there in the question. The diagram shows the pyramid, the base is a horizontal ABCD. 20 centimeters by 15 centimeters each sloping edge is is 24 centimeters okay for huh? full start apex it is not full the apex the apex of the apex v the apex it has made it as V. The apex 
V is over the center of the calculate, the length of the diagonal AC, the size of the angle VAC, it became a VAC, the height of the pyramid. Okay, now I'm making the pyramid for you, okay? In the pyramid, what do we have? Let's look at it. Uh, we have a rectangular base. What is the size of the rectangular base? The size of the rectangular base is 20 centimeters by 15 centimeters. So the rectangular base is 20 by 15. And it is A, B, C, and D. <coughs> now, the apex V is right over the center of the center of the base and then we have the sloping parts of the pyramid from here one part from here another part from here another part and from here the other part and then it says that each of the sloping edges 24 centimeter okay so can you visualize this one Now, now let's look at it one by one. Subse pehle, we have a rectangle. We have a rectangle A, B, C, D. A, B, C, and D. Okay. A, B is given to us as 20 centimeters. This is given to us as 15 centimeters. We have to calculate the value of A, C. This is 90 degrees. So we are going to use what? We are going to use Pythagoras theorem and solve it. In Pythagoras theorem, again, what is going to happen? AC square is equal to 20 square plus 15 square. So give me the answer for AC. We got the answer of AC as 25. Now, the second thing we have to find is we have to find the size of the angle VAC. Now look at this, huh? VAC, how does it become? Uh, angle VAC, so A will be here. So, so take it, let's make this. This is V, this is point A, okay, and this goes up to here, C. So I have it like this, V, A, C, let this point be the midpoint of the rectangle M. So this becomes the 90 degrees. Okay. Now, AM is half of AC. That means it will become 25 upon 2. That is a 12.5. Now, do we know VA? Yes, we know VA. The sloping sides are 24 centimeters each. We have to calculate this angle. So it is the adjacent and the hypotenuse. So cos A is equal to the adjacent upon the hypotenuse. So A is equal to cos inverse 12.5 upon 24. So let's get the angle now. Fifty eight point six. So angle VAC, we get it as fifty eight point six degree. Second thing is done. Now we have to find the height of the pyramid. The height of the pyramid is nothing but VM. Okay. So now we can use the Pythagoras theorem and find it. Find the value of this one. So VA square. V A square is equals to V M square plus A M square. V A we know it as 24. <clears throat> v M we have to find out. A M is 12.5 plus square. So V M square would basically be 24 square minus 12.5 square. So Vm would be square root of that. So let's get the value of Vm. So 
So we have the answer as a 20.5. Okay, so this is this was one question. So in this again, I repeat, visualization skills would be highly required. Now the next question. <coughs> The diagram shows the roof of a building, full stop. The base A, B, C, D is a horizontal rectangle, 7 meters by 4 meters, full stop. The triangular ends are equilateral triangles, full stop. Each side of the roof is an isosceles trapezium, full stop. The length of the top of the roof, comma, EF, comma, is 5 meters, full stop. Calculate, next line, the length EM, comma, where M is the midpoint of AB. Next line, the size of angle EBC. Next line. The size of angle between EM and base ABCD. So let Microsoft type the whole question. Oh, uh, I stopped the speaker so it will not type. Each side of the roof is an isosceles trapezium, full stop. The length of the top of the roof EF is. 5 meters, calculate the LENGCH length EM, where M is the next point of AB, <coughs> the size of angle E, B, C and the size of the angle between C, M and the base A, B, C and D. Okay, so this is the question. So let's make the diagram. We have, we have a rectangular base like this okay and then we have triangles out here which are equilateral triangles like this okay so another equilateral triangle here and then we join these two points so this becomes this becomes what our roof now this is our A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D. Okay. And then this is our E. And this part is our S. And then what else is given to us? This part is given as 5 meters. This is the midpoint M. And this is given to us as 4 meters. This is given to us as 7 meters. And this is three, 4 meters. Now, sabse pehle, we have to calculate the length EM. Now, for EM, let's take the triangle EAB. Now, EAB, please remember that it is an equilateral triangle. It is given to us that EAB is an equilateral triangle. The angle in an equilateral triangle is always 60 degrees. And M is the midpoint. That means EM will be perpendicular to AB. Now EA is given to us as 4 meters. Since M is the midpoint of AB, this will be 2 meters. We have to calculate EM. So now again, what are we going to use? We can use our Pythagoras theorem. Okay. EA square is equals to EM square plus am square and then we have to find the value for em so please get the value for em 
So EM is 3.5 meters. Now the second thing they want us to calculate is the angle EBC. Okay. So let's look at E. E is the point out here. And then B and then a C. So this is like this. E, B, C. EB is, we know it to be our 4 meters. BC is a whole of 7 meters. And let's drop a perpendicular. Let's say L. This is 90. We have to calculate this angle. Now, <clears throat> first things first. E, B, C and F is a trapezium. An isosceles trapezium. Okay, E, B, C and F are isosceles trapezium. This is 5, this is 7. If I drop a perpendicular from here, this will be 1 meter. Okay, so this is 1 meter. And I have to find the angle. Again, it is the same thing. It is adjacent and hypotenuse. So what are we going to get? Cos angle B is equals to adjacent divided by hypotenuse. So angle B will become equals to our cos inverse adjacent by hypotenuse. So get the answer for this one. Let's see what is the answer coming. Um, 75.5. 75.5. Okay. So angle B has come out as 75.5. So second thing is done. Now, now we have to find the size of the angle between EM and the base ABCD. So let's look at EM. EM was our this angle, EM. And on the base ABCD, if we take this straight like this, okay, again it is going to be what our, it has to be done with the base. Look at this is the base, okay. So now we need, we need the angle of EM with ABCD. So this is the angle that we require. Now we already know the value of EM. What did we find the value of EM as? EM is 3.5. Okay. <clears throat> the height, we do not know. Okay. The height and then M and okay. And then this is the angle. This whole side is again 7 meters. So from 5, if we drop a perpendicular, E and F is 5. So this is a perpendicular. The perpendicular would be mm, perpendicular. And then this is the side. Let's say we drop it from here. So let's say this is a mm, F. F is already given. E, F, G. So now. Now, if we have this 7 from here to here, 5, so again, this is going to be what? 1 meter. And we have to find this angle. Now, why is this 1 meter? Look at it again, okay? This is my EF out here top. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, I have the rectangle out here. I have the rectangle out here, which is 7 meters. This is 5 meters. If I drop a perpendicular from here and a perpendicular from here, okay, then this will be 5 meters, this will be 1 meter, and this will be 1 meter. So mg, this is my m, this is my g. mg is what? 1 meter. Now I have to find this angle out here. Okay, and em we already found it as, what did we find em as? 3.5. So again, it is what? Adjacent by hypotenuse. So what are we going to use? We are again going to use cos. Cos of M is equals to adjacent by hypotenuse. 
ठीक है तो एंगल एम विल बिकम वॉट कॉस इनवर्स वन अपॉन थ्री पॉइंट फाइव हैंग ऑफ एट अ लिटिल लिटिल दिस इज वट आई लाइक अबाउट द इंटरनेशनल बोर्ड बुक्स यू नो दे गिव यू द प्रैक्टिकल एप्लीकेशन ऑफ वट एवर यू आर डूइंग now the next one a b c d is a vertical rectangular plane mhm mm okay so sabse pehle a b c d is a rectangle vertical rectangular plane so let's make a vertical rectangular plane this is our vertical rectangular plane theek okay? hai and let's mark it a b c and a d so this is here the sides are 10 cm by 4 cm then it says that we have an angle out here let's put a point out here so and let's take a different color from a we join this from b we join this from c we join this and from b we join this so this becomes our diagram okay and in this de is given to us as 9 cm this is our point e so de is given to us as 9 cm this is a rectangle means all the angles would be 90 degrees each okay so everything written check now we have to calculate angle aed that means this is the plane that we are looking at aed theek okay? hai so we have let's make it like this this is our ad and point e is here this is what is given to us we have to calculate this angle aed okay and one more thing is given to us that this angle is also 90 degree CDE. Now, if CDE is ninety degrees, then ADE will also be ninety degrees. So let's make the diagram again. It becomes like this. So E D A. This is ninety degrees. We have to calculate this one. AD will be four centimeters because it is the side of that triangle. Uh, rectangle. ED is nine centimeters, so now it is opposite by adjacent. When it is opposite by adjacent, what do we use? Tan. Oh yes. Okay, tan is opposite. See, in cos and sine, hypotenuse will always come. Hypotenuse is not coming here. Okay, so tan E would be opposite by hypotenuse. That is a nine. So E is equals to tan inverse four by nine. So what is the value of angle E? That is angle AED. Twenty-four. Twenty-four degree. So the first thing is done. Okay, we are through with the first thing. That is finding the angle AED. Now we have to calculate. DEC, this angle. Look at this. This is D, E, and a C. Okay. So if we look at this one also, DC is like this. Then DE is at a ninety degrees. It is given to us. This is ninety degrees, and this is like this. 
okay now dc would be 10 centimeters de is given to us as 9 centimeters and we have to calculate this again again what do we have to use we have to use the tan tan of e would be how much the opposite by the adjacent so now angle b e c would be tan inverse 10 upon 9 so what is the value of angle d e c okay so we get this answer as 48 degrees so this is also what now we need the value of e c to find the value of EC, we can straight away use the Pythagoras theorem. EC square is equals to 9 square plus 10 square, and we will get the answer for EC. Um, 13.5. 13.5. Okay. So EC is a 13.5. So found EC also. Now we have to find angle back. BEC. Where is B? BEC. Perfect. Okay. So now let's take this is BC. This is like this and this is here. So B C E. Take it. So, BE, we know it to be how much BE is given to us, BE, BE, did we find out? Yes, I think so. No, we did not find out BE, we found out EC. EC is 13.5, BC is 4, this is 90 degrees, now we have to find this. So, we are going to use what? Tan okay why this is the opposite this is the adjacent so tan e is equals to 4 upon 13.5 so angle b e c would be tan inverse 4 upon and that is 16.5 5 centimeters. Okay. Now there is only one question left. So no, 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 it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> let's finish that also. Or you don't want to do. You want to do it in the next class. A <laughs> challenge. Okay. Bye bye. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. Good night.